So that will never change. I'm anchored in that thinking. I'm anchored in that, in that sentiment. I have to give my mother all the credit for everything that's happened in my life because yeah. that one day, and Sasa Sobabi just called in Jaya Agyo and Yeah. And she made peace with that very early. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a surprise in my house, even for myself when I passed the trick. Yeah. Yeah. I was Definitely. like, a, what? Because yeah. it was never a thing. Yeah. So the entertainment industry is the most brutal in the world. Yeah. yeah. Because you know, when you when you when you're going job hunting, you know, maybe once every month, twice when you go for the actual interview, you get rejected. Here you're going for auditions every day, maybe twice a day on some days. Mm. You know, you're standing in front of somebody, looking at them and they're saying no, and you're moving. Yeah. Having prepared to your best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you are judged every day and the results of your rejection are in front of you every day because yeah. you then see that advert, you then see that part being played by someone else. Right. You know, so the the entertainment industry tells you every day that this person is better than you. Yes. Yeah. If that's how you choose to look at it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, that that rejection was was tough. And you know, I'd literally be sitting at home and my mom would come close and hold me because the ad that we just went Two to audition now, for three, yeah. four months ago, weeks ago is now on TV. Yeah. And you know, you're saying the lines with the guy saying the lines. Yeah. It's brutal. And how and do you begin to understand that only what's yours will come to you. Yeah. But you need all of those so that you're ready for when that skin. comes. Yeah. When that comes, this is the training and preparation for it. Yeah. You know? So your first one, your second one, your third one, it's all training. Yeah. It's all training for that management role, which is now yours. Yeah. So that's what all that rejection is. You know the old age old saying, rejection is God's protection. Yeah. yeah. Because that's all not you. And you can't force your way it, it, it into being you. So that's all your, your, your learnings, that's all your book that you're writing slowly. You know, you're rising. This is a story of, of Adamus. This is a story of your success. Yeah, yeah. And you're building on this rejection that yeah. you keep climbing on until the climax of which now is, for me, live. It, yeah, there are people that are fortunate enough, you know, to first audition, they get it. Yeah. You know, but when you look back and you're like, shit, this person was an after for three years. That's all preparation. 100%. You know what I mean? They didn't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to go to the audition and get it and then become an overnight superstar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, there's always a story behind it. There's a process to, to the madness of sorts. Of everything. Because like, kids see, kids hear, kids are aware of what's going on. Don't think they're not. It was like, no, sorry, I don't mean to be crying. I need to be strong for her. But I was like, be strong for what? Let the monk show you to be strong. Yeah. No, don't be strong. Cut. Process it. Let, let it be. Feel. Mm. Because what we do as black men is we sit back and we hold it up and we don't feel it, we don't deal. Because that's what happens. When you don't feel, you don't deal. You're right. And how that then shows up or shows out when it's time, we see what's happening with women. Yeah. So no, therapy is a great thing. You need, you need there to be somebody who you speak to, however it is that you choose to. You know, therapy is not necessarily going to a professional and sitting down. Therapy could be anything. It could be a group of boys where you allow each other to be you know, a little emotive with your, with your words. And I okay. welcome it, so no, I, I do do that. So 